Welcome back, operators, to the Wargaming Table. My name is Oriskany Jim, and as always, I welcome one and all back to the Wargaming Table here on the SITREP Podcast. So, today, we're trying something, I mean, we try something a little different every week, or at least we try to. This week, we are kicking off a new, I don't want to say campaign, but there's going to be at least one or two games, maybe more. I'll keep running this this new setting as long as people are interested, or as long as I have opponents. But we're, we sort of set up our own little techno-thriller setting, our own, you know, possible war of the future. I mean, nothing against the game, nothing against anybody, whatever whatever anybody else plays or produces or anything, but we've all played Team Yankee, we've all read the novel, we've all read Third World War in Europe. That setting goes back to 1977. It's literally pushing 50 years old at this point. So we're going to come up with something a little different. Um, something pretty similar, a future war that we hope never happens, probably won't. Uh, in fact, almost certainly won't. However, it could. So it bears taking a look at here, even if just for fun, at the Wargaming table. So what we're looking at today is uh, what I'm calling so far, not a very imaginative title, I give you, but Red Dragon 2028. So in the year 2028, we're going to go ahead and imagine that after a disastrous trade war, after escalating tensions, repeated incidents, failed diplomatic attempts, something goes wrong, probably about a hundred things are going to have to go wrong. Again, this war is pretty unlikely. But for one reason or another, People's Republic of China has finally determined they have no choice but to launch a conventional force invasion into Taiwan. So we'll do the background super fast, because again, I don't want to bog down the stream with too much backstory. But this is, obviously, um, the Far East and the Western Pacific. So we see where Taiwan is, obviously. Everyone knows where Taiwan is compared to China. And, uh, you know, where some of the other players in this potential uh, conflict could be. The gray arrows that you see coming up from the bottom are the some of the thickest, most significant, most vital, and at the same time most vulnerable oil shipping lines on the planet. Um, this stuff all comes out of the Persian Gulf and out of Southeast Asia. There's quite a bit of oil down there in Indonesia and Malaysia and places like that. But a huge portion of that also, of course, comes out of the Arabian Gulf. And it has to travel north through the Western Pacific here. Excuse me. Um, to get into these very energy-dependent Pacific Rim uh, economies. Taiwan. I mean, how much stuff is made in Taiwan? Walk into any Walmart, pick something off the shelf. It was either made in China or Taiwan, probably. Um, Japan. I mean, auto industry, electronics industry, computer industry, you know, video game, I mean, you name it. Uh, huge amounts of stuff comes out of Japan. And uh, South Korea is largely recognized as, per capita, the most technologically advanced society on the planet. Um, so, a lot of oil is what, that, is what that translates into. None of these countries have a drop of their own oil. Uh, it all has to come up through these pipelines. Or, uh, not through these pipelines, through these shipping lines. And... Um, you know, the Chinese are, you know, starting to get a little sick of that. We all know about, and we've actually explored it here on the Sit Rep podcast before, we all know about the Spratly Islands, that the Chinese are literally building their own islands um, down here in the South China Sea. China can dominate what it calls the first chain of islands. This red line is a Chinese idea. These are the islands that they want to control and or dominate to sort of assert their maritime influence over the areas that they feel are important. Obviously, this is all their coastal waters. And then the second red line is where they want to also eventually, if not dominate, at least influence. Um, like any naval power or emerging naval power, China wants to you know, assert its, its, its influence, assert its power um, out into the shipping lanes that it controls. The Americans have been doing it for 100 years. The British have been doing it for 400 years. And, you know, this is this is the oldest game around, or one of the oldest games around. The Chinese are just kind of relative newcomers. We're not used to the idea. We don't like the idea. Um, so, yeah, there's probably going to be conflict eventually. However, so far, by building these islands and the application of soft power, military dominance, trade wars, stuff like that, so far China is able to get most of what it wants through aggressive yet still technically peaceful 
means. They are able to get most of what they want short of overt war. What we're going to imagine today is if they're not able to do that. So we've looked at the large map. This is the smaller map, and this is some of the real units that would be involved if, this, God forbid, this ever happened. Um, 72nd Group Army of the People's Liberation Army is one of the main maneuver formations here in the Eastern Tactical Control Zone, or Tactical Command Zone as they call it, um, in Fuzhou and Jiangsu Province. Uh, th yeah, these are, this is one of the units kind of earmarked for a potential, you know, move against Taiwan, or to at least control and defend this part of China. Um, so of course today we're managing them participating in the actual invasion of China. So there's a lot of symbology on the map. I'll go over it kind of quickly here. These are the actual units that are in that formation. Uh, I did not make these up. Uh, the main unit is the first um, amphibious mechanized division. So there's 15,000 troops, a couple hundred vehicles, maybe a thousand trucks. God knows how many ships and aircraft, but a significant maneuver formation. Um, they are supported by the 178th uh, Mechanized Amphibious Brigade. I have gone ahead and added the real life, obviously, uh, third mechanized uh, marine brigade. Notice it's a different color. P-L-A-N stands for People's Liberation Army Navy. I know that sounds weird, but that's the name of the unit. So People's Liberation Armed Forces Navy, pretty much. The Chinese Navy is the short version. Um, they are throwing a brigade of actual marines. So they are technically naval troops. Um, they're backed up by 10th, uh, 10th Armored Brigade. We will have some Chinese tanks on the table. And then um, 3rd uh, Mechanized Brigade, and then two brigades of artillery. So our sort of scenario here imagines them lodging some sort of a foothold, and I'll explain how that happened in just a second. And to sort of hold the line as long as they could, the uh, 234th Mechanized Brigade of the Taiwanese Army is doing their best to hold them in place and slow them down. So we've got one brigade versus... One brigade, two brigades, three brigades, four brigades, five brigades, six brigades. This division is made up of three more brigades, nine brigades. The 234th Mechanized is outnumbered basically nine to one. They're not lasting very long. They are pretty much throwing themselves into the highway as a voluntary suicidal speed bump, trading their lives for time while their allies come to help them out. Hello, Ben Johnson. Welcome to the stream. We're just kind of getting started here. Um, so, speaking of allies, that's where we have the Americans and the, uh, believe it or not, the Japanese um, coming in here. So, the Americans are pretty easy to protect. Um, there's various agreements between Taiwan and uh, the United States to help defend Taiwan if something like this should happen. Um, we have, so far, 2nd Striker Brigade Combat Team of 2nd U.S. Infantry. Uh, sort of set up here. That's what I was missing. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so 2nd Striker Brigade Combat Team of 2nd U.S. Infantry. I picked that unit in particular because most of 2nd Infantry is usually deployed or rotating into and out of South Korea. They are part of our Pacific Rim strategic defense plan, whatever that is. Uh, so if something like this were to actually happen in uh, Taiwan, you can pretty much sure that the 2nd Division, 2nd U.S. Infantry, is going to be involved pretty quickly, or at least elements thereof. I also have 1st, uh, I'm sorry, 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team, a 1st U.S. Mechanized, I'm sorry, 1st U.S. Infantry Division Mechanized, the big red one, um, because I also wanted to get some tanks on the table. So these two units are imagined, again, that's not the whole brigade, uh, sadly for Damon, um, but these are the, uh, <laughs> these are the leading elements of these two brigades, and they're coming in here to help out. Um, I also have the 42nd Readiness Deployment Brigade of the 8th Japanese Division, uh, or I should say of the um, 8th Division of the Japanese Self-Defense Force. There could be a lot more Japanese forces helping out with this. The Japanese definitely have a vested interest in keeping those oil pipelines open, except for two things. Number one, Japanese constitution, as I'm sure we all know, it has some very, very, very strict uh, restrictions on sending Japanese combat troops into other countries. There are certain other countries that you might expect to see here, but you won't. South Korea would love to send half of its army down here. Because, I mean, South Korea has, again, very, very intense interest in keeping these oil lanes open. However, in this scenario, 
if we can imagine China physically invading Taiwan, you can bet that the situation along the 38th parallel with North Korea is probably pretty tense. So South Korea is not sending anything south to help uh, Taiwan right now because they got to make sure that uh, these clowns up here don't don't try to get cute. All right. So again, that's the overall situation. Here is our map for today. Uh, again, we're looking at the Hsinchu district in uh, northern Taiwan, uh, te uh, specifically the town of Lungtan. So Lung Town seems to be one of the major linchpins. That's the area of today's game. That's about eight kilometers of terrain. So between this imagined bridgehead and if the Chinese can break out, People's Republic, the Communist Chinese, if the Red Chinese can break out of this beachhead, they're going to pivot northwards and threaten the southwestern approaches to Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. So they can't do that. Um, zooming in a little bit. Yeah, that's where we see Long Tan. Lung Tan, I should say. This is the battlefield for today. That's about 8 kilometers by about 5 kilometers. With 200 meter hexes, this is our table. Go over the forces super fast because I don't want this to take too long. We have two major maneuver elements of the Americans. Again, one from 1st U.S. Infantry, mechanized, one from 2nd U.S. Infantry. 2nd uh, Striker Brigade Combat Team, 2nd U.S. Infantry, 117th uh, is the task force. So that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at strikers that are carrying infantry. There's also, we have some stingers, javelins, weapon section. Uh, these are the new JTLVs, the new M, uh, M1279 JTLV utilities that have replaced the Humvees, those little death traps. Um, we have a mobile gun system uh, striker with a 105mm uh, rifle it's for anti-tank work. And uh, some Apaches, because those aren't going away anytime soon. Um, command vehicle, mortar carrier. We also have some recon drones. We have seen these used in our Ukraine game a couple weeks ago. What we're adding for today's game are weaponized drones. Predators. Drones with hellfires. So keep an eye out for those. There is also a team of U.S. armor on the table. Again, a team is a mixed company where within two different battalions, one tank battalion will switch a mechanized platoon with one of the mechanized um, companies in, a, again, another battalion, and vice versa. Here, we're looking at the tank heavy team. I just chose to call it Team Whiskey. Uh, and this is command element of M1A2Cs. So this is basically the SEP3 version of the post-Iraq, post-Gulf War uh, M1A2 upgrade and two uh, full platoons. So four tanks, four tanks, two tanks, that's the XO and the CO. A platoon of Bradleys carrying a platoon of American, you know, mechanized infantry. And then rather than the M901 ITVs that we used to see, and you see in movie, uh, novels like Team Yankee, we've got a striker, uh, again, with the toes. We have a small Japanese force, again, um, Task Force Kumamoto, that is the actual town where the real-life 42nd Rapid Deployment Brigade is deployed and stationed. Um, we have one platoon of the brand new Japanese Type 10 tanks. Uh, we also have the new, came out in 2016, Type 16 mobile gun, uh, mobile combat vehicle. Some APCs carrying rifles, heavy weapons, command vehicle, and some Taiwanese Defense Force guys that are doing their best against the, uh, against the Chinese. Moving swiftly forward. We are looking at plenty of Chinese. So the Chinese are pretty much broken up into two groups. One, People's Liberation Army. That's 10th Armored Brigade. This is a tank force. So I've got two companies of tanks. Platoon, platoon, platoon. Company one, platoon, platoon, platoon. Company two, a company of mechanized infantry. Type 89A APCs, each carrying a platoon of uh, PLA rifles, People's Liberation Army rifles. A PLZ-10 mortar. This is pretty much a Type 89 APC with its turret replaced with an automatic mortar. So this is a mortar machine gun. This thing can put out a lot of firepower, especially against soft targets. Command vehicle, some ASN-205 surveillance drones. Notice they are not weaponized. They don't carry missiles yet. They also have different roles as far as how they can spot things. The American Predator drone is a little better. 
Uh, and to make up for having no weaponized drones or Apache gunships, they have two airstrikes of Shenyang J-16s. These are pretty much license-built Zukoi 27 flankers from the Russian Air Force that uh, they are using, and they each carry a 50-point laser-guided bomb strike. So keep an eye out for those. The second big Chinese force are their Marines. Again, we're talking about the 3rd Marine Brigade of the People's Liberation Navy, based out of Fujian. Um, these guys do have better infantry. Notice the infantry is better between the PLA Army and the PLA uh, Navy. These are Marines, after all. So like a lot of Marine units, we have better infantry, crappier vehicles. That seems to be the story around the world. Um, that's what you get for being a Marine, I guess. Okay, and those are the forces for today's game. So here is the setup for the table. Notice the Taiwanese are already on the table. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what the scenario is for today's game. We have my friend Damon, who is of course playing the uh, the Allies, and I will play the, uh, the Chinese. So here is the story for today's game. Uh, the date is August 8th, uh, 2028. After a series of escalating incidents, a disastrous trade war, and diplomatic failures, People's Republic of China sees no choice to launch a conventional forces war on Taiwan. American intelligence, along with their allies throughout the Western Pacific, have some warning against the impending onslaught, i.e. there is some American and Japanese units here, just not nearly enough. Um, but not nearly enough to stop it in its tracks. The initial Chinese onslaught and lodgement across the Straits of Taiwan is one of the costliest maritime operations since the Second World War. Yeah, God forbid if this ever did happen, it would be a shit show. Because um, the American Navy, the Seventh Fleet, is pretty strong in the uh, Formosa Straits. The initial phase of the Chinese assault comes as a series of gargantuan airlifts, striking at three points up and down the eastern Taiwanese coast, coming at um, Kaohsiung in the south, Taichung in the center and near the capital Taipei in the north. These are for the most part costly failures. They're pretty much blown out of the sky, Crete style, um, resulting in a catastrophic loss of aircraft and paratroopers, People's Liberation Air Force and their air mobile forces. However, these were largely feints, sacrificial openers to trigger some response protocols for the Taiwanese military and the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet, flagship USS Ronald Reagan. The real shove comes just hours later, a massive sea lift operation by enormous fleets of Army and Navy amphibious assault and Marine forces, largely spearheaded by special heavy lift hovercraft. Uh, even these assaults were into serious trouble, hammered by the American, Taiwanese, and later Japanese naval airstrikes. However, the northern lodgement at Hsinchu, this is what we're gaming today, secures a viable, if embattled, beachhead. Meanwhile, surviving PLA airborne units have secured a tenuous foothold at Kaohsiung in the south. Here is the one lucky break the Americans and their Western Pacific allies have caught so far. The Chinese have two solid and growing lodgements on the Taiwanese coast. However, they are spaced far apart and thus remain vulnerable if a counterattack can be mustered quickly enough. This is where Damon comes in. In this scenario, so now we're into the, our actual specific game, we find ourselves entering the fourth day of the war, so now it's August 12th. Leading elements of two American brigade combat teams, Task Force 135 of 2nd Armored BCT, 1st U.S. Infantry Mechanized, and 117th of 2nd Striker BCT, 2nd U.S. Infantry, have been formed into Task Force Rapier, which Damon commands. Having landed in Taiwan, his orders are to push west with all possible speed to head off a gathering PLA armored spearhead that's about to break out of the Hsinchu beachhead. And once it does, that's going to threaten, again, those southwestern approaches to Taipei. As he advances, he is joined from the north by Task Force Kumamoto of the Japanese Self-Defense Force. Ahead of you, somewhere in the chaos of the battlefield, the crumbling remnants of Taiwanese 234th Mechanized is sacrificing itself in a desperate delaying action against unbelievable odds. Your communications officer reports that they have been screaming for help for the past two hours. They are no longer screaming for help. For the last few minutes, they have been screaming for orders. Just then, his XO delivers the report from Brigade. The Chinese heavy rocket regiments, those are basically IRBMs, with conventional warheads for now, thank God, have annihilated most of the Taiwanese command and control network. The Taiwanese military is now effectively leaderless. 
As Damon's lead elements draw close to the survivors of the 234th Mechanized, they are still locked in a death grapple against far superior units. Again, Damon's communications officer manages to raise them on an allied frequency. He asks, who is in command up there? In frantic but perfect English, the reply comes back, you are, sir. And yes, I'm totally riffing off Saving Private Ryan there. All right, so good luck. That is the mission. So what that all means in a nutshell is those, you know, frazzled few remaining survivors of the Taiwanese 234th Mechanized were deployed already on the table. They're controlling three of the objective axes. We have a highway interchange. Of course, the highway intersection is going to be an objective hex. Crossroads, crossroads, two more crossroads back here. It's all about who controls the roads. Okay, Chinese will be coming in from the west. The Allies will be coming in from the east. The Chinese, as the attackers, move first. So we went ahead and got started. So Damon and I have actually already been playing this for about an hour. Um, we kind of got through the deployment uh, already. We got through the first, basically the first turn already. And now we're... Um, we're, we're actually into, you know, the meat of the game. So, again, I'm commanding the Chinese. And uh, I'll talk about what I've done so far super fast. Uh, I'm just trying to, because I know these American units are really, really scary. Um, I've already executed one overrun. I, I did have one platoon of tanks pinned down to opportunity fire as that happened. Uh, we had ground fire from these Cloud Leopard APCs up here. There also was another Cloud Leopard platoon in here and some... Uh, and some infantry. I did manage to actually carry off the overrun with two more platoons of my Type 99s, and uh, those are the best Chinese tanks that I'm able to find data for at the moment. And um, I'm about to basically take one objective X. Here in the south is where I'm sending most of my Marines, because it's mostly an infantry force. There's a major town in the south that is, uh, again, Lung Tan. And, at least for me, I find that attacking towns is usually better with infantry. Don't send tanks into towns. So, I send in infantry, and those forces haven't quite made contact yet. But I am starting to set up with them. I've got mortar support, I've got heavy weapon support, I've got drone support. I've got two full companies of infantry, one of them mechanized, one of them motorized. Again, that's tracked APCs versus wheeled IFEs. And I hope I can take this objective hex in pretty close, uh, in, in, in uh, pretty short order. A third point of contact is in the north, where we've already engaged uh, against uh, against some Taiwanese forces. The Taiwanese forces have fallen back. They've pretty much given me this objective hex. I let Damon talk about that. Those are his troops. Um, except I've already got some problems from the north here, thanks to the uh, arriving Americans. So, Damon, now that I have talked myself hoarse, um, did you want to talk about what you've done so far in turn one, please? Yeah, the, there was a friendly Taiwanese unit sort of in that town square, basically sat in the open with like hundreds of tanks breathing down the neck. So they basically <laughs> run away, which is the only sensible thing to do. Yeah, each counter is a platoon of five. They back so into were, their built up area. Yeah, there, there, were, there were 15 tanks um, coming down on them, and they were in the open. So yeah, a uh, wise retreat there, I think. And as they've dropped back, the Japanese have come charging up the road. Katana's drawn and um, have deployed into the town and into this little hamlet slightly to the south to try right. and bolster the roadways. Let me uh, zoom in on what you're talking about here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you're talking about this little farm down here in the south? Where are we? Oh, yep. a little bit of a delay there? Okay, yeah. So we've got Japanese and uh, American striker units sort of helping out there, um, combined into an allied force. And then, yeah, we have... Um, Taiwanese infantry that are falling back, a heavy weapon section, and some Humvees. I mean, God bless them, they're still using Humvees. Um, especially in 2028, for God's sake. Again, this is near future. Fortunately, Japanese tanks and uh, mobile command vehicles, or mobile combat vehicles, are heading up there to help them out. Now, what's going on up here, Damon? I see you've already got, uh, you've already got some mess. You're already making a mess on my map up here. What's going on? The, um, the Abrams have used their uh, quite impressive speed to come from the eastern edge all the way onto this hilltop into the woods. And they're now in overwatch across the top of the town. Um, also the Predator sneaked up as well and had a line of sight on, used its impressive sensor packages to spot a tank, a Chinese tank maneuvering in the town. So I took a pop with the Hellfire at that. 
didn't quite manage to knock it out, but managed to suppress it. And then the Apaches have sneaked along the northern border. One of them took some ground fire, took some fire from uh, anti-air and has been suppressed. The second Apache has managed to manoeuvre into position to engage the infantry carriers that are closing on the town. Knocked a carrier out and uh, took out an infantry section with it. Yeah, so these are Type 89As. They're basically Chinese knockoffs of either the Bradley or the Warrior MCV-80 um, infantry combat vehicle. Uh, same basic setup. I think they have a 30mm automatic cannon and a rather crappy um, anti-tank guided weapon kind of bolted on the side. However, when those Apaches sort of rounded the hill from the north, I did take opportunity fire with one, two, three platoons. There was a third platoon there. So 15 APCs with automatic 30mm cannons just filled the, uh, the sky with as much lead as they could manage. I couldn't shoot down the Apache, but I did manage to sort of disrupt its attack. However, it's uh, the other two, uh, the, the other section of Apaches swung around and yeah, didn't use its Hellfires yet. Uh, but just with uh, basic 25, or no, 30 millimeter cannon fire, um, you know, tuna canned uh, one of those APC platoons, burned it up, and of course the uh, luckless Chinese infantry inside said APCs. So that's where we're at so far. The two forces have definitely locked up and definitely engaged. However, we have some American forces still coming on the table. So we have Task Force Rapier, uh, I think it's your last unit that you're bringing on the table. So let's talk about where those are coming in, Mr. Damon. They will go to 2019. Just behind the wood. Got it. Mortar carrier. That's going to... What's the range on the mortar? 27. It's 120 millimeter mortar. Yeah, that's going to drop onto the objective hex. On the west there. With the... There's an HQ there as well. In yep. the yeah, that will drop into the uh, the objective as well. All right, last but not least, your uh, your uh, surveillance drone. What was the spotting range of them? Was it 12? Uh, yes, 12. Oh. Well, it's unlimited if he's not in cover. Um, mm -hmm. If the target's not in cover, American drone within 12 hexes, you roll one through four. If I'm under cover. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to go. He's going to be above the. Um, uh, no, he's just going to be behind the units on the southern hill. Just all between okay. so we can see over the hill at high level. Gotcha. I'll put him up at the top of the hex. That shows he's high al at a high altitude. My one and only SAM unit has already fired. I tried to shoot down his Predator drone. Didn't really work. So, yeah, are you trying to spot anybody in those tree hexes or town hexes? Um, the only one you can't well. spot is this one because he's immediately behind an intervening terrain feature. Other than that, you, like, okay, you can't see him, can't see him, I think that's about it. Again, if you're physically, if the target is physically immediately behind intervening terrain, the angle just isn't steep enough. And then um, within 12 axes, which is quite a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, can 5, I spot 6, the same 7, unit? 8, 9, 10, yeah, the same unit's already spotted. He spotted because he fired out from under that cover. Okay. Um... I will try and spot that uh, automatic mortar carrier if it's within my field it's of view. Within your, it's within your field of view, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It is in range. Roll a 1 through a 4 and a D, D6. 6. He can't see anything. Uh, all right, that will conclude American movement phase. We've done fire phase already. Well, fire phase is before this. There's no overruns. There's no cat attacks. That finishes the turn. Chinese turn two. China is here, Mr. Burton. I'm hereby declaring that my commander is named David Lopan. His exo is Egg Shen from Big Trouble in Little China. So now, Damon, you've already lost. I don't, I don't know if you, if you realize that, but okay, it's all good. Okay. That Russell's in my command tank. Damn you! You did not supposed to pull that reference out of your ass. You, oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to our stream, everybody. I've just gone ahead and, uh... Oh, Dave, the egg would never be Lopan's XO, says... So <laughs> that's actually true. Okay, I, I have... Uh, what's his name? Um, I want to be Thunder. I want to be the big guy who yells a lot. Yeah, I, I need Thunder, exactly. Okay, because Science Teacher knows where I'm at. Uh, is it too much to ask? Kill him for me! Okay, so... 
Here we are with Chinese turn two. I have to kind of pass over my air phase, so I'm going to go straight to my movement phase. Uh, or do I undo direct fire? Do I have any direct fire? Actually, not really. Okay, closing out the direct fire phase, because I don't really have line of sight on anything. Making sure, making sure. Going to, uh, d uh, going to, um, to close the direct fire phase, I'm going to try and rally my Chinese. Um, tank is a morale B. The Chinese are morale B. Allies are morale A. So, we're looking for a 1 through a 4 on a D6. He fails! These guys do not rally. They have been fired up by a Predator drone. That, that, that is kind of scary. Oh, also, I'll try to rally this guy. Come on, give me a good roll. A four. Okay, that one made it. Okay, split move and fire. One. Two. Actually, I'll go to... Two. Three, four. Okay, I'll just say with what I was going to do. One. Two. Before you drop off the ridge, Jim. Yep. Can the Abram see you? You can see me all the way until I get to 1506. So I spent one, two, three. By the time I spend my fourth one, four. I'm undercover behind that village. He made it yeah. barely. Because again, in order to trigger opportunity fire, I have to be within your uh -huh. continual line of sight for one fourth of the movement. So that was four. The gun carrier can't see you either. As you know, you've not moved in sight for long enough. Five, six. Ooh. Because they use opportunity fire, they have already spent half their movement. So if we're going to debus, they have to debus here. Okay. Just considering a few things there. Okay. Uh, ooh, actually, if you give me a second, I'm going to go back to my fire phase and use my two surveillance drones. Surveillance drone try to spot, surveillance drone, try to spot. So I need two fours. Or I need, I need two chances out of four. The first one succeeds. This dude is spotted. I'll try to spot this guy. One through four. Not spotted. Okay, now that he spotted automatic mortar team, you were trying to spot him. Here's the good news. He's spotted now. Um, there is 32 points, because mortars on, mortars on direct fire. 32 points versus 7. I'm going to throw this 6 infantry fire into there as well. This 6 points of infantry fire in there as well. That guy does not get split move and fire. He will not get to fire. However, the vehicle is... So as long as the vehicle does not move, he spent half his movement points on loading. Six points of machine gun fire, 50 caliber Dushka fire, 32 points of mortar fire, 32 plus 6 is 41, versus 7, that is 5 to 1 odds, 6 to 1 odds. Add 1 to the town, add 1 because of town. I'm going for that infantry platoon. Boom, he smoked. You waste no time here in Taiwan. And, um, he is now spotted. Actually, that vehicle is not spotted. That's per, hex, that's per unit, not per hex. I don't have anybody else spotted, so it's just time to start moving. Two companies of Chinese Marines. Boink! They jump out of the vehicles. Um, they've already spotted. He fires, so I don't get to fire him again. He 
he's fine where he is. That's my command vehicle. I think that'll wrap things up for the Chinese turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm being a little cautious in that southern attack. My other option down here, guys, was to load, was to just drive into the town with all my vehicles and unload in those concrete hexes. So I may have given away those concrete hexes. I may have to fight for them now. But if I moved in there with vehicles, you know what? The hell with it. I'm doing it. All right, so I move in here one point, moving into the town. Not enough to trigger opportunity fire. Then I spend half of my movement points to unload the infantry. That vehicle is now um, eligible for opportunity fire if you want it. But after he unloads. Mm -hmm. This may uh, cost me a lot yeah. of APCs, folks, but it will make sure that I don't have to fight for those two concrete hexes in front of me. Hexes um, 15, 17, and 16, 18. Uh, I think I'm going to have to, aren't I? Tough year says one hun low. <laughs> Uh, okay, tough ears. <laughs> it's going to be one of those streams, isn't it? Okay, we will... What turn? We have a Cloud Leopard with a machine guns only. Oh, yeah. A rifle platoon. platoon. There might be a law or a grenade launcher in there. Again, mm -hmm. I-class weapons are allowed to shoot at armored targets within half this, within two hexes. And then there's that striker. That striker is 72 points at this range. It's overkill, but we'll do it. It might not be, because I'm in concrete buildings. 72 oh, against yeah. 17. Yeah. He is 4 to 1 odds. Roll low. Mm. Uh, I'll roll a 6. Oh, he is disabled. Or disrupted. The infantry fire wouldn't have made any difference to that score, would it? Uh, it would have added a total of 7 and 4. It would have added 11 on top of 72 against a 6. No, it still still would have been bad. Yeah. Okie dokie. Alright, um, where's my opportunity fire marker? Oh no! Okay, second one kind of does the same thing. Um, is it worth opportunity firing? You would have, if you put everything what you could that? in there. 7, 4 is 11 in Taiwanese. Then you have 12 with a heavy weapon section. That's 23 and another 8, 31 versus wait a minute wait a minute what did I say guys uh, help me out here 76 divided by no 72 I said divided by 17 is that what I said yes I gave you a bad number 72 divided by 12 6 to 1 that's 6 kills them I was looking at the wrong number so buildings, actually no it doesn't, uh, but, but, but go ahead and re-roll, because I gave you the wrong number. The defense is 8, and when you're in concrete buildings you get to add 5. So it mm -hmm. is, um, 8 plus 5 is 13, so I, 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 added, I added 5 to 12 instead of 5 to 8. I, I gave you a bad number. 72 divided by 13 is uh, 5 to 1. Roll a d6, add 1 to the result from concrete buildings. Still a 6. Another six? I gave you all the... Yep. <laughs> He's still disabled. Okay, but at least now we did it right. Okay. So, again, now I have the right number, 13. Uh, we would say... What was that? 11 plus 20. 31 versus 13. It would be 2 to 1 odds. Sloppy 2 to 1. Uh, it's worth a shot. All right. Three. Right, he three. Gets disrupted. Because a three becomes a four because concrete buildings. Yeah, this is why I did not want to give those concrete building hexes away. I rushed in there rather bluntly and frankly got away with it. He'll unload there. These guys will unload in here instead. 
this guy could only get there. Because this guy didn't unload, he bailed out of this tree line. Okay, that is... it for my movement. Okay. Direct fire, I've already done my direct fire. I've now done my movement. I finished up my movement. That will conclude my turn. Over to you for turn two. We start with the air phase. Although you don't really technically have aircraft. Um, but you've nope. got drones and you've got helicopters. Hmm. So uh, I guess we start with, no... with, uh, with the direct fire. You have some hella direct fire. Okay. Up north, just turned into a slaughterhouse. Mm. Yep. Um... Hello, Madman! Welcome to the stream! I could be wrong. Is this your first time on stream? If so, welcome. If not, welcome back. Thanks very much for joining us. We're taking a look at a theoretical invasion of Taiwan at the moment. So the Japanese have got some interesting targets. Oh yeah, the Japanese are like, oh, look at this. Uh, Damon and I were joking before the stream, we're like, what? <laughs> the Japanese army is back technically in China again. Just like my grandfather used to talk about, except not really. These Chinese actually fight back. Pretty damn hard, too. So, yeah. Um, you are adjacent to three platoons of ZTZ 99As. So, there's going to be some absurdly powerful guns coming that way. Also, for Type 16, these guys have no line of sight because they're clipped by this hex here. However, because you're adjacent, yep. these clowns can also see him couple smoke grenades uh -huh. out from those tank turrets or whatever and all of a sudden hey look yep yeah there's a gun a gun carrier in there isn't there yep the uh, american uh, mg uh, no uh a tow carrier uh -huh. yep so we can do some business with all of those weapons so these two the japanese double don't they at that range Japanese double at point blank range, looking at 112 plus 72. Oh, mm -hmm. modern Panzer leader, what, what, why do you hate me like this? <laughs> and, and the toe as well, what does that add up to? Ah, now the toe you may want to attack separately with. The toe attacks with 50, okay. it's a G-class weapon, it's always 50. However, I do have laminate armor. I have one star. Yeah, so okay. it diminishes the attack, yeah. So if you throw it in with the main attack, it's going to diminish the whole attack. Mm -hmm. So I would probably, yep. yeah. So the defense is 28. You have to, they don't add five because those are only wooden buildings, but you do still have to add one to the, uh, to the die roll. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on how many platoons of type 99s you want to engage. Uh, it's defensive 28, isn't it? Yep. If I go after two, what are the odds if I go after two of them? 28, 28 is 56, right? Uh, ah. mm -hmm. Three to one. Yep, add one to the die roll. That's a one or a two on a kill. Uh, and... Or oh, two suppressions. Almost certainly two suppressions. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think certainly. And then a tow. And maybe suppress another one and blunt the attack. Uh, I'll do the three to one attack at going for the suppression. I think. Okay. Start with. So roll one d six as low as you can. A one or a two will kill. Three. Uh, three becomes a four if it wasn't for those wooden buildings. Mm -hmm. That's good enough to start with. Okay, and then, again, that tow missile never runs out of ammo, hence the G+. Mm -hmm. So, G50 into 28 is 1 to 1. Add 1 to your die roll for my laminate armor, 1 to the die roll for the building. So it's 1 to 1. It's a sloppy 1 to 1. But it's 1 to 1. Add 2 to the die roll. 4 becomes a 6. Did you, okay. 
Um, sorry, you do have a weapons platoon in there. Does he... Oh, he's loaded. Never mind. Uh, so he's not gonna be able to fire yet. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What, uh, what, what did you, uh, what, 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 did, what did you roll? A four becomes a six. Uh, yeah, that has no effect. I was trying to get you under the two to one column, but yeah, this guy's still loaded. Okay. Um, other f fire phase. Or, you know, uh, continuing the fire phase. phase. Right. Now, this guy can fire again. This guy is going to have to rally before he fires. Yep. I'll rally the one that needs rallying. He rallies on a 1 through Four. a 5. Alright, he, he rallies, Four. but that's his attack. Yep. Alright, now the other guy can fire chain guns or his, uh, his uh, hellfires. If he moves to 1502, does he attract opportunity fire? Probably not, because I have to... Uh, no. 1502? No. So that puts him within two of that back unit, and he can double up on them with the chain gun. So I can't see any of the tanks, can I? Because they're um, concealed in the buildings. Um, your... No, yeah, one is spotted. So if he moves one more, like to there, he's got mm -hmm. him spotted. He's got him spotted. He was spotted earlier by the Predator, and the Predator downloads oh, yeah. that data through Battalion Cloud, and now everybody sees him. Yep. Yep. Uh, so he can missile him, can't he? Um, or missile the ones. Now, he can't missile the ones in 1804 because they're blocked by the buildings right here. Again, you're right. hidden from an air unit if you're yep. immediately behind terrain, right? This guy is right. not blocked, he just hasn't fired yet. Obviously, mm -hmm. he's in the open, he's in the open, he's in cover, mm -hmm. but he's been spotted by the Predator. I'll try and put the missile into him, then. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and fire his one 60-point missile strike. Two to one. Add one to the die roll for my laminate armor. Add one to the die roll for the town. Subtract one for being dispersed. So it's going to be two to one. Add one to the die roll. However, a double D will kill him. A two. Comes a three. He is done. Because that is a that is. is that is a double dispersal. Apache for the win. Okay, Abrams. Believe it or not, uh, can't really see anything because they're one hex back from this mm -hmm. ridge line or whatever. The Predator drone can spot lots of stuff. He just he's fired off his Predator. His uh, in fact, let me go ahead and um, is uh, is there a character limit to a post? Honestly, um, Mad Duck, I don't know. So I'll just change their color slightly so that we can tell that they've uh, expended yep. their ordinance. Uh -huh. Um, can he spot the unspotted tank in 1704? Negative, because he is blocked by uh, mm. building hexes in 1804. Oh, yeah, got you, yeah. However, he has a movement of 30. He can buzz around and then probably spot somebody. Mm -hmm. But we'll do that in the movement uh, phase. Down here, are these yep. guys going to shoot and scoot or just scoot? Uh. What do we do? We fired them. We fired them. They fired. If they stand, if the Japanese stand, what are their chances next turn? If a Japanese stand, you the Taiwanese. It's... Oh, that unit. Um. Yeah, can he shoot at that tank that's closing on him? He's yeah, that's all I was asking. Effect. It's going to be 24 mm. to 28. One to two odds. Add one to the die roll for Woods. Might suppress him, mightn't it? Yep. I'll go for it. Cool. A three. Three becomes a four on one to two. That's no effect. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to get, uh, when we get to it, split, move, and fire. He's probably going to get the hell out of there. Um, yep. He's fired. They're still all loaded up. 
The reason these sixes could not help out is they're outside of two hexes. So in modern Panzer Leader, like Arab Israeli Wars, high class weapons for people in the chat can only attack armored targets within 500 meters, within two hex, really 400 meters, two hexes. So 50 cals will go through armor, but not through not an incredibly long distance. Can he get to 1909? Can he get that far? Um. When we get to the movement phase, probably. Let me just make sure we mm -hmm. keep the turn yep. sequence in, in the right order. Oh, yeah. Because down yep. here we probably have. Oh, wait, these guys all took opportunity fire. So we may be at the end of the fire phase. Oh! Zoomed out too far. Sorry about that, folks. Alright, so there's pretty much the whole map. Can the strikers fire? But you're more to carry her. Which strikers? Oh, these. In the sub town. No, they're blocked by two town hexes in front of them. So town hexes in front of them, town hexes in front of them. These two oh, yeah. Yeah. I class weapons, they're too far away to damage an armored target. They can fire. Yeah, That's another armored target. Uh, they can shoot at the drones. They can, uh, yeah, they're screened by the buildings. So no, getting the strikers and the uh, Taiwanese carriers muddled up. Uh, uh, no, so but in all seriousness, they're they're high class weapons. They do have them spotted. They're just too far away to damage an armored target. Hmm. Armor target, armor target, and these infantry have not yet fired, so they're technically not spotted. What are the chances against one of the um, drones? Um, it is... Now, this is why I had it so low. We are looking at a grand total of... Uh, if you put both of those infantry units in there, mm -hmm. total of six points versus six points, one to one. However, you have to add two to the die roll. So you might pin one down. Yep. Might. Is it, is it hard firing at drones? Nope. Because they're, they're not right, Sam's. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but that gives them both away, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, but no. they have split move and fire. They can move after they, after they shoot. Yep. Yeah. So fire. Okay, yeah, I'll try and, try and suppress one of the drones for a turn. Cool. One to one. Add two to your die roll. Five becomes a seven. Nothing. Hell no. Drones are small. They're tough to hit sometimes. All right, everybody else is either out of range. Technically, this Sam could fire if you wanted to. It's up to you. Uh, I'm just going through everything that everything that can shoot. No, I think he needs to hold his fire for um, yeah. when your right. airy planes appear. We will then start with the movement phase. All right, so this Apache has already moved. Does this Apache mm -hmm. want to move? Um, yeah, he's going to move round to, let's see, he's going to fly around, use, this roadway is elevated, isn't it? This one is. On the, the, sort of the, the western side, where where that objective is. Is that an elevated? Right? Yeah, the, it's, um, it's, is. it's it's literally on a ridge. Yeah, it's elevated. Yep. Yep. Okay. So if he... <laughs> while you're while you are considering that, um, <laughs> springtime says, have you ever tried war gaming? Um, the novel, not the unspeakable movie, World War Z. I've read the novel. It's amazing. Uh, I love Max Brooks. Um, he am currently trying it in modern command operations. We're doing Taiwan springtime because I think you asked for it. Uh, either either Taiwan or Korea. So we're looking at uh, prospective 2028 invasion of Taiwan. Um, but no, I've not tried zombies yet. Probably not will in the near future. But let us know how that turns out. Um. What's the rate? 
the infantry and the infantry carriers, what's their effective AA range? Is it two? Effective anti-air range is four. Four. But it's divided in half. High <laughs> class weapons, oh, I stay at the normal rate. So the infantry are now technically more dangerous than the vehicles against aircraft seven mm. versus six. Ben says, just got home. You know what that means? Pizza time. You were supposed to order Chinese food for today's stream, Ben. John. I'm just kidding. Um, are the tanks stamped with made in Taiwan? <laughs> Tuffy ears, you win joke of the day so far. You have the title until somebody unseats you. Um, the Cloud Leopards do. The, the Cloud Leopard IFEs probably have stamped in Taiwan on it. All right, so... The um, Apache is going to yep. circle round to the east, round the back of the hill, and come back in over the friendlies into uh, 1803. 1809, sorry. Got it. A bit further north. Yep, that's it. Okay, uh, the Abrams, are they doing anything? Um... If they rush into the concrete buildings, you'll you'll take opportunity fire, won't you? Um, there will only be one tank to do so, and you get to add five to your um, add five to your defense. Okay, so one platoon will advance into there. Yep. Okay, and again for people in the chat, I didn't say this on camera. That's a typo. That's supposed to read 36, not 26. I would correct the file, but it's on another computer right now, and I have to stop the stream. Um. So that's supposed to be 36 there. All right, so the first one goes in there. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and take opportunity fire. Take opportunity fire. Because, I mean, goddamn, I have to. I'll never get another shot like this. Um, even then, it's not going to be great. But I've got 96 because I double at this range times two. Oi, sorry about that. Divided by 36 plus 4, I'm uh, sorry, plus 5 is 41. Divided by 41 equals 4 to 1, add 1 to the die roll. Oy. Come on, machine, give me my calculator, or give me my dice ray. There we go. 5 becomes a yes. 6. He got away with it. 6, I may have disordered him. 6 on, what did I say, 4 to 1? Yeah, he is disordered. That's not a kill. Nope. More importantly, or whatever, um, or also significantly, that's all my tank fire. <laughs> so the second platoon of Abrams is going to do the same. And he has no trouble at all, because strangely the Chinese don't shoot at him. <laughs> what? And the CO will do the same. Get in there, boy. Kurt leads from the front. There you go. Uh, that 24 is a 24, so... Alrighty. No line of sight, no line of sight. Also, no worries. Um, he's fired, they fired. Oh, here we go. Um, oh yeah, we're, we're doing movement now, sorry. So, sorry, not, not fire, movement. What are we doing uh, with these Japanese tanks? They... they... They're in concrete, aren't they? Technically don't have to move. No, they're good. Yeah, I think they are, actually. Uh, they the, might get cat attacked by... Depressed. Yeah, by one platoon of Chinese infantry, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. But okay. if I put some infantry in there, does that boost them up? It will definitely help them versus cat attack. Yeah, they, there's a weapon. Is there a weapon section? Yep, right here. The, yep, they'll go in with the tanks. Cool. They've got some shootiness. Any other movement or... Debus the Japanese infantry in that hex now. Okay, we're going to have to move something out of there first. Right, not that, not the, the one oh. in the town. There's a unit that's still, still mounted. 
um, does that. Uh, yeah, so I need to have a bit of a wriggle around. One of the infantry carriers will go uh, northeast into the wood and then debuss in there. He's unloaded. And the other infantry carrier will debuss in the little village there. No worries. So got another weapon section. And the... How did my Japanese and Chinese and Taiwanese weapon sections end up with higher ranges than my American ones? I'll fix that later on. That's a, that's a typo as well. And uh, he doesn't have to, but this striker, does he want to move with the missiles? Um, missiles? No, I think he's good. This guy good at the moment. probably wants to move. Yep. Can he weapons. get... Can he get into the... Where can he get? He's got a... He's got nine remaining he's... movement points. Because he fired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he can get... Three, four, four, five, six... He's got an auto cannon, hasn't he? Yep. Yep. Um, a does not have against off targets. Mm. It chews him up. The H E M O. Springtime says so many zombies. No. It's awesome how, in this context, the Japanese and Germans are termed <laughs> allies. Yeah, the Japanese with their not quite German Leopard 2 tanks, those are the Type 2 tanks. Actually, the Leopard, the Type 90s were Leopard 2s built under license in Japan. So we basically have Japanese with German tanks. Although, again, these are Type 10s, technically. Um, and yet they're fighting the Chinese in what the Chinese consider still China, with the Americans as their allies. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bonkers scenario, to be sure. He's going to go and join the Japanese commander in that little hamlet. One. Everybody else is fired, so he has a free reign across this open field here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Because I think you're going to do something cute with that tank. What? Just me over here all by myself? Come on. Um, okay, down here, we got uh, any movement? Uh, if they all drive up. If they go onto the ridge line, do the counters hull down? No, this is not a desert map. There's no hull down. No. Okay. Good question, though. Uh, um, so if they go up onto the ridge line, they're skylined. And yeah, uh, the, the base, the basically, happen. these are these are European ridges. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so gentle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no that there's none of that sharp razor back that you can use for hull down shielding. Mm -hmm. But they can't see any of this stuff out of the Marines from where they are at the moment. Uh, no, because you got this ridge between you and them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're basically blind and impotent where they are at the moment. They're also safe. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's the reverse slope defense if you get through but try and rush through but um, I think that's going to be it for now okay no cat attacks no overruns we go to Chinese turn three. Oh, um, yep. it's some infantry debusses okay the um, the striker in the town will debus that's the only one left, isn't it? That's not debuffed. Yes, this guy is on top of his carrier unit. Yeah. That, that gun carrier did not carry him in there. Uh huh. This guy. Okay. Was... Yep. I think that was it. Cool. Chinese turn three. We begin with the technically artillery phase 
Did either one? Oh, before we do that, do any one of the either one of these two guys want to displace after failing to shoot down that drone? Uh, yeah, one will drop in with the striker. The strikers, infantries, and the other one will. I think he can. He's got a. He'll drop back with the one and go round the back of the town and go into the... Is it 17, 17? I got it. Aha, oh, that'd be the command vehicle. Command vehicle's back there. The other platoon is in this hex. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Yep. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Warm up those stingers. Because here come the flankers. Stingers warm. Okay, uh, the air phase begins. Actually, first, if I want any indirect fire, I have to call an indirect fire for next turn, if I want to. Um, so, turn three, arriving turn four. Okay, artillery's called in. Next, air phase. All right now, I come in with my two Shenyang J16s, i.e. SU-27 flankers. I have to get, what is the range on the laser guided bomb? LGBs have a range of, oh hell. Okay, I didn't really put that in the chart. All right, so I'll just say the range is uh, like a normal bomb. The range is two. Cool. Okay, here they come, Mr. Stingers. Where are you? Oh God, yeah, you're in range. All right. So, that's what I didn't do. I didn't give them a defense factor. Okay, um, Stingers. Do the Stingers want to try and shoot down either one of my uh, flankers? Yes, please. All right, cool. That'll be 50 against what I should have put on there is 25. So, that's going to be 2 to 1 odds. A 4. Okay, that is 1. Disrupted. Now, disrupted on the anti-aircraft table means he gets to do his current attack, but then he goes home. Um, D. Aircraft damage. Aircraft may execute attack in current air phase, but is then removed at the end of the air phase. Does not count as destroyed if applicable, but he leaves He leaves the battle area. So he does not get his gunnery attacks um, after this. Driven off. That's useful. Yeah. So I've got a grand total of 100 points. I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, Actually, wait a minute. I don't have them spotted. I do have them spotted. I'm going to put 50 points on the gun striker, 50 points on the heavy weapon section. So actually, this guy has to kind of go here. So this guy puts his one and only LGB onto this guy. This guy puts his 50 points onto this striker. So 25 versus 6, because it's a... LGB weapon um, against the armor target reduces to four to one. Add one to the die roll for your wooden buildings. He survives. God damn. And then the full 50 versus six is seven to one odds. Add one to the die roll. He smoked. Even with. Uh, building cover, even if I roll a 6. 7 to 1 plus 1, even if I roll a 6, that uh, becomes a 7. I think that still kills on 7 to 1. 7 to 1, yeah, a 7 is still a kill. Okay, so that's it for my air phase. Those are my two flankers. Or J-16s, technically. Now I begin my direct fire phase. Cannot fire, cannot fire, we'll try to rally, we'll try to rally. Come on, dice, give me a break. Ooh, I have red dice, let me roll red dice. Just cause. 
does not rally, it does rally. Spotted with those stupid. Oh well. Okay, go to spot. I'm trying to spot. I'm trying to spot this weapon section. No, that. Uh, what am I trying to spot there? Let me go ahead and try and spot, eh, yeah, let me try and spot the rifle platoon. Um, Chinese roll on a, I have to be within six hexes and I, uh, eight hexes and I only get a one through a four. He is spotted. This guy is going to try to spot the command vehicle, because why not? He also spots him. Chinese drone, see you. All right, continue with my movement phase. This guy spent his turn, his attack rallying, so he now gets to fall back with a split move and fire rule. Any opportunity fire? Uh, Damon, are you still with us? Uh oh, did we lose Yeah, Damon? I'm here, sorry, I was... No, oh, no I'm worries. here. I was muted. I was just wondering if you were taking uh, any opportunity fire. You don't have to. Yes, There's... please. Okay. I think... I think I need... Because you're gonna... You're gonna over... You're gonna cast attack, aren't you? Yeah. But, spoilers, there's more Chinese movement coming. Mm. <laughs> Which I probably shouldn't have said, but... Mm. Yeah, but I... If I don't, I'm gonna get overrun anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, ooh, I can't move everything I want to because this clown is pinned down and won't bail out of that hex. Damn it. Let me at least get him under cover. Uh, so we can move, we can fire, shoot into them, shoot into them, shoot that, shoot that. Yeah, so there, for people in the chat, there's basically two companies of uh, Chinese Marines bailing here into the southern districts of Lung Tan and uh, mixing up with both American uh, rifles and um, strikers of 2nd Infantry Division and uh, the remnants of uh, Taiwanese 234th Mechanized. They're, they're, it is a mess. We're about to uh, hopefully clean out some clean out some counters here. <laughs> uh... So we got the Mark rifle fire. tune is 7, mm -hmm. 11, 21 19, points. 21. Um, that's, that's, that's. 2 to 1 against 1 platoon, isn't it? Uh, not really, because I'm all in concrete buildings, so I've become 13s. 8 plus yeah. 5. Uh, that unit in the south in the open. Yeah, he has no How bonus long? for that. Hmm. However, only these two guys can hit him. Yeah, that's what ten points. Or yep. A little M two forty that's on top of the Taiwanese mm -hmm. command vehicle, and then the striker. Who's got Eight. a 50 cal and a Mark 19 grenade launcher up on the top? Hence, he's got a much higher value. Mm -hmm. Eight, eight. Is that double for the range or anything like that? Nope, it's all I class weapons. Right. Right, right, okay. 10 versus 8, so it's still only 1 to 1. But he's in the open. Yeah, he gets no plus one for, that. for buildings. So you kill him on a 1, 2, 3, or a 4, you suppress. Mm -hmm. 
What are my chances of, if I put everything into one unit in cover? What's my chance of killing one of them? Uh, almost nothing, because you'll be looking at a one to one, add one to the die roll. In fact, it's zero. One to one, add okay, one, you need a one to kill. And if you roll a one, it becomes a two. Yeah, I'll try and suppress that unit in the open then. Alright, go ahead. A three. A three, he is suppressed. One to one, a three stays a three. Now, again, only these two guys could see him. Which means these two guys haven't fired yet. So these two guys with their total of 11 points could hit this guy at 1 to 1. Marine weapons section. There's only like 12 guys. So his defense is only a 5. Plus 5 for buildings means it's a 10 1 to 1. You could suppress him as well. You have, yeah, to, add one, you have to add 1 to the die roll though because he's in concrete buildings. 4 becomes a 5. So he is not suppressed. All right, cool. So we have a double cat attack coming uh, from uh -huh. two, di two directions there. We will come to that uh, in good course. Finish up the rest of my movement down here. Up here, movement. One, two, three, four. So he's safe. Try to rally, try to rally. One makes it, one does not. My Chinese morale is not doing well. Get undercover! I think that wraps up my movement back there. Okay, let's do our cat attack and we are finished. Cat attack for people in the chat stands for close assault tactics. They are not being overrun by a platoon of Persians. Although that would probably be pretty, pretty awesome. Not Persians. Persians. Siamese, if you will. Or, I don't know any other kind of cats. Okay, we are now close assaulting into a stack of stuff with infantry. One. So I have eights. Holy crap, I got three eights, four eights in there. It's a total of 32 against a stack that is predominantly armored. Therefore, it triples. 24, 32, I mean, times three, that's 96. The weapon section does not triple. It's not technically an I-class weapon. 8 times 4 times 3 plus 12, 108, divided by 6, 7, and 6, that is 19. 5 to 1 odds, subtract 2 from the die roll, I think they're smoked, even if I roll a, uh, subtract 2 from the die roll, add 1 to the die roll for town. So 5 to 1, add 1 to the die roll, even a 1 does smoke him. So yeah, that stack is smoked. Oh no! That is... Here you go, Ben. Intermingled rec counters for you. One Taiwanese rec counter. I think that's our first American rec counter. And then a soft target also died in there. And again, we've checked this rule 101 times. Um, I do not get to occupy that hex. That will conclude the Chinese turn. Over to you with um, direct fire. So if we start in the north, 
That seems all looking okay. Oh and no! Then... Ben Johnson is watching Empire Strikes Back on TV and the Battle of Hoth just started. General Veers, prepare your men! Hypothetical games are awesome, it says Ben. You can do anything you want. We'd like to see Britain versus France over Jersey Island. That would be hilarious. I think Springtime was actually talking about that. Um, ben, uh, right above you in chat, Springtime was doing something similar to this. Something over uh, Brexit and uh, European Union fishing rights. <laughs> they got into a scrap um, in a theoretical game. I mean, hey, you never know. Um, Egg Chen would never be Lopan's XO. Um, okay. Um, so because Science Teacher says, that is because you don't have any long-haired generals in robes and armor to inspire them. Oh, okay. That's true. That's true. If I have, um, I mean, the reason my Chinese are not doing well under General Lopan is because I don't, I, they're not properly dressed for the occasion. That's, that's very possible. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. What's going on here, Mr. Damon? Um, we've got... Two active abdoms, well, a platoon and an HQ section yep. against one tank in there, isn't there? One platoon of ZTZ 99s. You also mm -hmm. have some people down here that could help if they want. Or they can yep. fire their own, you know, it's, it's up to them. Um, so, right now you've got 56 plus 28. That does, of course, double at that range. That's six Abrams in there. That's why the numbers have different values. <laughs> Times two, buck sixty-eight versus thirty-three. <laughs> Five to one odds if you want it. That's, that's pretty much a dead tank, isn't it? Um, I have to. You have to add one because of my cover. So yeah, <laughs> you have to add. You have to roll one through a four. Yep, I'll do it. Need to thin out your tanks. Six becomes a seven. That's like the the fourth six you've rolled, man. Come on with that. Yep. Nevertheless, he is um, disordered. Somebody packed paint uh, paint rounds in the uh, Abrams again. <laughs> God damn it, Oddball! Oddball's great grandson. Why did you pack paint in the friggin' tank again? Okay, these guys in the south might not be so. Lucky. And the the other one, Rally. Oh, yes. Yeah, we can do that while we're here. Rallies on a 1 through a 5. 5. Apparently. Sure. But... Okay. And down here we have... Yeah, that disordered tank. Those tanks are a lot more vulnerable. They're not in concrete buildings. They're in wooden buildings. And one of the platoons is disordered. Yep. We've got... Um, so we've got the tanks and the gun carrier... Yeah. And then there's the they also team down the south. Range. Yep. So he's um, going to get hairy. 56 plus 36, even more. Times 2. Buck 84. Um, divided by... Well, it depends on how many. I'm assuming you only want to engage one. 6 to 1. Subtract 1 for being disordered. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. He and add one for being yeah he literally can't survive that because it's six to one which means he needs a six oh. okay six to one means he needs a six add one yeah it's six to one right plus one for towns minus one for being disordered you need a six anyway and on top of that a double d result will still kill him anyway so he is hella smoked even without a die roll. You, now, there we could have a patented Damon 6 and he would still die. In fact, just for fun, 6 to 1, uh, add nothing to the die roll, you would have to roll a natural 9 to miss him. Don't get me wrong, if anybody could do it, it's you, but <laughs> 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 nevertheless, yeah, he's, my he's done. All right, more and burning then, Chinese tanks. Yep. The guy in 1607 is out of sight, isn't he? 1607. Yeah, because he's in the woods. Mm -hmm. The missile carrier, can that still see one, one of those ones? 
in the town. Can the missile carriers see? Yes, those two guys are still spotted. Yep. So, we'll see if we can suppress another one of those. All right, two to one, add one to the die roll. Oh, there's also a weapons platoon in there now if you want to try to help out. That Japanese yep, weapons well, platoon? He has a range. Of, yeah, he has a range of 10. Notice he has H class weapons. And then we have a question from Springtime. I'll get to that in just a second. Um, 10 plus 50 is a total of 60. The rat's significant because now that becomes 3 to 1. Sorry, it becomes 2 to 1. So 60 versus 28 is 2 to 1. Add 1 to the die roll for buildings. Seven. Oh, that's not going to do much. Good thing there's plenty nope. of missiles in there. Okay. Um, okay, let me answer this question here. Shouldn't the PLAAF uh, be using its ground attack aircraft? J-11s and SU-30s. Strike fighter. Okay, the SU-30MM, I'm pretty sure... I'd say SU-27. I have, I have J-16s, which uh, my sources said are strike aircraft. So basically fighter bombers. They could use ground attack ordnance of certain kinds or air to air ordnance. Uh, you might have missed you may have missed earlier in the stream. We actually talked about the whole scenario about the units that are actually involved in this. Um, I'm just gonna go over it super fast now. Long story short, there's a lot still going on on the beachheads. There are two viable beachheads, an air ahead in the south, near I think it's Kangzhou, and here um, in the north at um, Hsinchu uh, is a, is a amphibious beachhead. And um, so the, the Chinese Air Force, as big as it is, is up against the Taiwanese Air Force, most of the Japanese Air Force, despite their constitution, and the U.S. 7th Fleet, USS Ronald Reagan. So, and they're trying to hold open the Formosa Strait, or the, the, the Straits of Taiwan, um, for the sea lift operation. So there's a lot, neither side has a lot of aircraft. Interestingly, next week we are right for the moment scheduled for some Air War C-21 in this same war, in this same setting. So we'll be seeing some uh, some F-22 Raptors, possibly F-15s, uh, maybe some JSF-35s up against, uh, you know, the stuff that we have for the, uh, the People's Liberation Air Force. But neither side, you'll notice the Americans have no aircraft whatsoever, which almost sounds like a contradiction of terms. Um, they have some helicopters, some Army helicopters, and some Predator drones, some weaponized drones. But again, everyone's Air Forces, this is only the fourth day of the war, they are very busy, mostly over the Taiwan Straits or the beachheads uh, immediately adjacent. So I hope that answers your question. Um, I can make whatever counters I want. I may I chose to make J uh, uh, Shenyang J sixteens yesterday, because my sources at least uh, listed them as strike, not really ground attack, not really fighter, sort of a fighter bomber or strike role. This is also, by the way, why they had laser guided bombs and not anti tank guided weapons, because again, according to my sources, that's not what they carry. They carry laser guided bombs. Okay, so where were we here? We were still down here. We have an Apache, we have some infantry. Can we do anything in the Apache? The Apache's still got his cell fires. That one in the south does, yep. Yep. Can he hit one of those tanks? Um, yeah, it would be 50 versus 28 and it'd be one to one. It wouldn't be great. Mm. Should have added it to the other attack, shouldn't I? Actually, yeah, I can't. Because oh. <laughs> mm. we were both, both guided weapons. Oh, well, not to worry. Um, actually, he'll hold on to that. Can he fire at some of the, those infantry are out of sight now, aren't they? They're in cover in the buildings. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, can the Predator spot? Yes. So, Predator Drone is going to try a spot. Um, infantry are like I, yep. technically these are uh, Those guys. infantry carriers. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, cool. You need a one through a five because you're within ten. A three. Cool. One of them is spotted. Now a little green light lights up in his canopy. Mm -hmm. He sets up to spot. Mm -hmm. uh, he's at four, so he doesn't double, does he? 
Uh, it's a G-class weapon. Oh, you're oh gonna, yeah. For, for the cannon? No, the cannon is just 12. Mm. Yeah, 30 millimeter chin gun. Yeah. Is that both? Are they both carriers, or is there any infantry in there? They are both carriers. There are no infantry in there. The infantry are up here in the north. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I'll try and cannon one of the carriers just to, for the sake of it. All right. So it's 12 to 8 is one to one odds and one to the die roll. A one becomes a two. That would have been a kill, except for his. Uh, yeah, the building's turned into a two. Okay, um, these guys don't really have any viable targets right now, so moving south. There's nothing really here. Moving south. Right, there's, there, there's a mass down here. Yeah. Yep. If I stay where I am, I'm just going to get smegged, so... Can those three infantry units move? Three infantry units. Which three? three piled up together These in the two? north of the town. They're actually in the town, and yeah, they can move. In, the in fact, they probably text. should, since yeah. one of them just got spotted by a predator by a Chinese mm -hmm. uh, ASN-205. Mm -hmm. They're still in line of sight of that if they move there. So... Can they all run due north into 1614? Yep. And the APC will go with them, I think. Spot it. Mm -hmm. And the two carriers that are surviving will head due east. One, two. Uh, how far can they get? They can get off the map if they want. They've only used two movement points so far. Yep. Um. The striker will. Stop in the town. The um, other one will carry on one more east. Just asking, any movement down here? Yep. Uh, they'll both they'll both um, remount. Okay. And we'll run into the woods at. 2517. Got it. If we can get that far. Yes. Yeah, the movement's not really a. Ah. Movement rate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Barely came out of second gear for that. Yeah, he'll drop back into 2417. He's like hovering altitude. over the trees, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Any more movement down here after, or up here is after you fired with your turreted vehicles or your helicopters? Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and consider this guy destroyed. Because 
what could have happened is this guy could have helped out. Oh the, yeah. The, the Apaches also do a two cannon attack, and that would have been the end. Mm -hmm. of that. Just to kind of help things move along a little bit. Yeah, got that. Okay. Um, uh, those two are still are still good because they're in concrete. You've only got two tanks left. Yep, um, they could attack down there, but that would be moving in the open. Um, the Abrams are good. You can try and attack with the infantry, but that won't that won't go well, will it? Can who attack with the infantry? Uh... Your infantry next to the Abrams. Can they attack the Abrams? Ooh. Uh, yeah. I don't like. I don't know if I like my chances. Remember, infantry versus <laughs> armor triples mm. in a cat attack. So I got mm -hmm. two sevens is fourteen double uh, triples to twenty to forty two. However, it would be forty two versus twenty four plus thirty six plus thirty six. You cat at, You have to cat attack the whole hex. Mm -hmm. you can't selectively cat attack. So I don't even mm. know what the odds would be, but it would be uh, pretty bad. Thirty six. No. Um, 42, 42 divided by 100, no, um, 72 plus, 20, plus 96. It would be 1 to 3 odds. Subtract 2 from the die roll, add 1 to the die roll. Oh no, you're in concrete buildings. Um, I don't even know it would be, what it would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's possible, I, I, anyway. I, I might disorder yeah. them, but the odds are kind of against them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that However, I could fire from the south. Hmm. Yep. Pin somebody down and mm. then cat attack. Mm. One, two, three. Combined arms action. Four. Um, spring. Okay, while you're doing that, Springtime mm -hmm. says I was more meaning uh, fighters like the JH7 uh, and the J10. Okay, well that's not. I don't think what we were saying before. Um, we were talking strike if ground attack aircraft. Versus using a straight line SG-100. Okay, it's almost like you're asking two different questions here, Springtime. Um, I was more meaning fighters like the J-7 and J-10 and the SU-20. Yeah, okay. Um, strike fighter. Airspace would be very contended. Yeah, the airspace is very contended. That's what I'm saying. It would be the J-11 and the J-15 and the J-16 SU-35 would be used yeah. for cap. Oh. This kind of is cap. Same. But I, I kind of get what you mean. Oh. Two. Are the J-16s that I have on the table the ideal weapon? Are they the perfect use for this role? No, and that's the point. In actual combat, war games are fun, but in real combat, you never have the perfect tool for the perfect job. So this is what this is what they happen to have on the day. The really, really elite fighters are busy over the water. The really perfect ground attack planes are still trying to dig those paratroopers. Again, we went into it in detail earlier in the stream. You may not have been here for it. Um, there are paratroopers on the southern end of Taiwan. That's not on this map. That was discussed in this rather long write-up where we actually went into the details of the operational picture. So, yeah, there are no... You'll notice there are no A-10s on the map. You'll notice there are no... F-15s, no JSFs, no F-22s. The nobody has good aircraft right right here, or at least not the correct aircraft. They're making do with what they have. No, I think I'm going to hold where I am for now. I'll risk taking some fire. I'm in concrete, so. Concrete. Turn a four. Alrighty. Call in new artillery if I want it. I literally have to make a roll before I can do that. Yes, I will call in some new artillery. That was this drone spotting this unit. Okay, my old artillery calls in. That is my um, P-51 
PLZ-10 mortar section. Dropped a whole bunch of 120mm automatic mortar shells into this hex. Kaboom! There's nobody there. No worries. So, ineffective, but nevertheless. Um, no harm done either. Okay, that's the end of my artillery phase, and I'll go to my fire phase. Checking, checking, checking. Spot. Actually, check the spot on the sands. Spotted. These Chinese drones are doing pretty well. Okay, that's spotted. Spotted. No more fire phase down here. I've checked everything. Heading north. Um. Blocked, blocked. Uh, ninety six times two heading north. No, no, ninety six times two, dummy. One ninety two. Versus 36 versus 41 because of concrete buildings. Divided by 41 he is 4 to 1 odds and 1 to the die roll. 5 on 4 to 1. He survived that. Thank you, concrete buildings. That will then lead to a cat attack. Try to rally these tanks. He succeeds. No more fire. Begin with movement phase. Sing Mal Say Tung Song Herp Smirk Make Derp. We have taken an objective hex. Our second of the day. Uh, send it back. Try to rally. Stay in the box. He does succeed with a B morale. But that's his attack. I can't do that. Two wrecks in the hex. That's two stacking points. I can only put one unit in there. Try to rally this unit. Ah, uh, four. He does succeed. Movement, movement, movement. Displace down to here. He's no longer spotted. Damn it! Yeah, that'll be it. Okay, let's do the cat attack to finish out the turn. I have a total of 14 points in there. Triples to 42. Forty-two. Now, you have twenty-four plus thirty-six again. Uh, oh, that was a typo on the counter. Plus thirty-six equals ninety-six. Plus five for town equals one hundred and one. So it's one hundred and one divided by forty-two. Actually, reverse that. It is one to three odds. Net. Subtract one from the die roll. Four 
four becomes a three on one to three. No effect. Four becomes a two on the dispersed unit, becomes a two, becomes a D, which has no effect. If that four had been a three, you would have just lost an Abrams platoon. Cool. But that cat attack goes in there and does no additional effect. Beginning ally turn four. Oh, you, you squeaked by on that one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Springtime says to slow them down and make it more of a mine clearing operation. Um, cool. We're talking about uh, occupying town hexes. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the context is on that, but no worries. We're talking about laying mines in the Straits of Taiwan. Naval mines, nautical mines. Yeah, springtime. This this might turn into like a series of um, of games. I'm pretty sure we're already scheduled next week for an Air War C21 game, which is going to, of course, not focus on Type 99s, Type 89s, uh, you know, all the ground vehicles and, and stuff like that. It's going to be much more, you know, obviously air focused. We'll get into more detail on that with Air War C21. This is the ground version, high level. We can also do Battle Carry Sabo, um, Naval Command. We want to get into the Naval, although we've already done Naval a little bit in Spratly Islands. And then, of course, Air War C21. So, two ground games, an air game, and a Naval game. We've got four different systems, at least that we can approach Red Dragon 2028 from. Um, so we might be able to answer some more of your questions um, in a future episode, uh, depending on what the context is. Okay, so I think we start with your um, either fire phase or artillery phase. You do have one artillery piece on the table if you want to call in an indirect mission. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um... Can I see? Predator drone might be able to car uh, find something. Yes. That's what I just um, did. My predator drone, mm. my Chinese predator, whatever you want to call it, um, yep. spotted targets and. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert! Call, called in an artillery mission. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you can totally do the same thing. Um, we will spot. Your um, water carrier has been firing, hasn't it? I spotted it anyway. Which one? Oh, yeah, he's already spotted uh, automatically. Yeah. Predator can see him to call it in, can't he? Yep. Yep, so yeah. I know I'm telling you what I'm doing in advance, oh, that's, but that's yeah. That's fine. Mike, that guy already yep. has, a, uh, has, a, has a fire mission, which I just mm -hmm. said to you. So yep. il it's illegal for him to move at this point. Mm. So that, that's my. Uh, a target for my mortars. All right. So remind us at the beginning of turn five. Mm -hmm. uh, you had no artillery from last turn. We then go to direct fire. Because again, your air units are mostly ground mm -hmm. units. Mm -hmm. Rules wise. So this time, can I use? That reminds me. One of my one of my um, one of my oh, G16s that 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 springtime hates so much. <laughs> I'm just getting springtime. Um, has to has to. Uh, RTV. So this time I'll combine combine the Hellfires and the Toes at one of the tanks in the town. Oh, we're talking about up north. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Hellfires off of the Apache and Toes mm -hmm. off of the Striker um, ITV. Yep. are both going to fire. That's going to be 60 plus 50, 110 points versus 30. That's 5 to 1. You do have to add 2 to the die roll, though. 1 for the town and 1 for my composite armor. Let me have just one low roll. A 1. No! Yeah. That's illikill. That's not as fun as the 1 that you rolled with those centaurs. That's nope. still one of my favorite. If I ever do like a like a clip show, that's so going on there. <laughs> oh, that was great. Nine hour game came down to one roll. He needed like a one or a two. He rolled a one, and uh, yeah, that was the end of that. This wasn't quite as dramatic, but still nice. nice. 
Okay, and this guy gets replaced with, uh, actually reverse that. This abomination gets replaced with this abomination. All right, cool. Just, we now know that everyone's fired their yep. hellfires. Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um... You're in concrete buildings, so that is concrete, isn't it? Where that tank and that infantry is that have assaulted last turn. Oh, that's another illegal hex. You got to keep an eye on me. Um, yeah, this is an illegal. This is a concrete hex. Mm -hmm. So. So, guys, the reason why that hex was illegal is one, two, three, four stacking points. There are two wreck counters in there. Just because they're burning doesn't mean those tanks don't take up space. So... The single Abrams platoon, can they take out that tank platoon? Or do um, I need to mass the fire? Just by himself? Or with the commander mm -hmm. helping him? Commander in XL. On it's his own at the moment. 102, I'm, 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 102 to 31. So it'd be three, three to, one. to one. Add one to the barrel. One. one or two would get it done. Mm -hmm. And then he'd be suppressed otherwise. Um, I'm not sure about like a six, but yeah, pretty much. Mm. I'll do that, and then the commander and the Apache will fire at the infantry. Uh, and the, and okay. the infantry down south. The weapons section. The weapons section, the command... Abrams and the Apache will all fire at the infantry. Cool. All right, so let's do the first thing first. Uh, 56 yep. times 2 is 102, divided by 28 plus 5 is 33, sorry. Um, it's still 3 to 1. My 33 becomes 99 and 3 to 1. You have to add 1 to the die roll. So a 1 or a 2 would kill him. A 2 modifies to a 3, which is a kill. Oh, all becomes one. a 5. Uh, uh, disrupt him. Alright, and that was just this tank platoon. Now, I'm not sure who you're talking about because th this tank does not have line of sight on. Oh, on these guys right in. Okay. You're talking about these guys, right? Yep. Cool. The guys, um, yep, the guys that assaulted them. Yep. Cool. So that's going to be 28. And again, the reason it's 28 is A class weapon, but it's got a star on the end of it. So it does not double, obviously, because it's not an armored target that it's shooting at. However, A-class weapons normally divide by two when shooting against unarmored targets. The A-star is basically dual-purpose ammunition. There's HE, there's HE frag, there might be some Willie Pete in there, who knows what. Heat rounds, if nothing else. Um, he's going to be able to just keep his 28. It doesn't double, it doesn't half. Um, so it's 28 plus... What else did we say? Uh, this um, Apache was going to put cannon fire in there. Yep. S same rule, 12 A star, and then what else? You said the third unit was going to be helping out. Um, the weapons section Japanese firing weapons across or the town ta square. Uh, Taiwanese weapons section. Oh my god, look, yep. at this, look at this crossfire, man. He's getting it from three sides. 28 plus 12 plus 10. Hold up. That 10 may double. That 10 totally doubles against soft targets. So 12 and 28. 12 plus 28 plus 20. Someone set up that Mark 19 grenade launcher on a, on a, on a little tripod. Dum, 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 dum. 60 points versus 11, because again, I get to add 5 because of concrete buildings. 5 to 1, add 1 to your roll. 4 becomes a 5. That's a kill. That's how you do it. Focus firepower on as few targets as possible. Make the dice not matter so much. Dun, 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 dun. That's my new song for the day, by the way. That's the official Ariskany Pension Leader Jr. I don't know if you all knew that, but now you do. Okay, continue your fire phase. And then the Japanese tank and gun carrier will engage the last tank in next to them. See, I keep suppressing. I keep I keep meaning to move them out of there because they keep 
getting suppressed and then I can't fire. I need to get the hell out of there, but that's why this tank has never returned fire. Oh god, 56 plus 36. 92. Times 2, 184, divided by no concrete buildings, divided by 28 is 6 to 1. Don't roll a 6. You have to add 1 because oh. of... Oh, you know what? You had to say that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, a 6 would save me. Roll the 4. Toast! He's killing all my tanks, guys. <laughs> Put Type 99s up against Abrams, and I wasn't—I've never gamed with Type 10s before, but I'm pretty sure Type 10s are close. Basically the same gun. I know the gun. I looked it up. Can fire most of the same ammo, so I just went ahead and gave it the same the same uh, attack factor and range and weapons class. The armor I made a little bit less because it doesn't have the full British design chobum uh, in the plate. I don't think. Needless to say, it's basically an, an Abrams light, and Abrams, and Apaches. I'm not expecting to win the tank battle, um, but that's cool. I, I just wish I could have killed one Abrams platoon. I came so close. <laughs> what I should have done is use those those laser-guided bombs on an Abrams. That, that would have been sweet. Take out at least one Abrams. Okay, so let's continue with your fire. Oh, uh, before we forget, try to rally that Abrams that's uh, uh, pinned down. Oh, yeah. Five. Barely. We're all barely... How many fours did I roll last turn? We were, we're barely making our rally checks. Mm. Okay, so everybody in those two stacks of fire, the helicopter is fired. That carrier in the open. Um... Yep. The weapons and the infantry carrier. Yeah, I left them in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the answer, the, the answer shortly is, is, uh, is yes. <laughs> I did not okay, do a we'll, good we'll, job with him. We'll see if we can do him. I don't think you'll have much trouble. 60 points versus 8 is 7 to 1. Um, is that the attack you're declaring? Yeah, the... the the oh, missile is fired, doesn't it? The missile is fired. It's the, it's the, oh. the weapon section and the infantry carrier. The infantry left. carrier is too far away. Alright, oh, okay. Because um, he only has I class weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has to move me. in two, but yep. the weapon section gets mm. ten against eight, which is one to one. It's worth a shot. Um, the Apache has no line of sight. No. He fired his Hellfire as well, so. Oh, that's right. A one. Ooh. One to one in the open on this new tactical combat Middle East chart. That'll smoke them. Damn, what the hell? I lost like four units in one fire phase. Damon suddenly got pissed off is what happened. <laughs> Jim always beats me. Don't worry, I'll be rolling again soon. I am sick of this. What the hell, man? How many consecutive losses is Damon going to have versus Jim and Panzer Leader? Well, I'll tell you what, the streak ends today. Look at that. Look at that graveyard, man. <laughs> Those red red counters. Ugh. All right, Team Whiskey, you're, you're finally living up to your, to your name there. All right, um, heading south. Last Not looks on any out. infantry here, I don't think. Nope. Unless this, I don't think this guy wants to give away his position trying to hit the drone. I doubt it. Nope. Yep, okay. Um, yeah, down here, the set the pick, with the Chinese Marines, things are suddenly looking a lot better. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we can't fall. Not looking good for the Striker Brigade. No way. The option is and everybody would have to reset. Okay, I'm going to 
Can I just see a bit further east on the map, please? Then? I take it uh, the river's just a stream, is it? Yeah, it's like three points to cross it. Infantry uh -huh. don't pay anything. Just cross it on a road and you're fine. Yep. Now, uh, these four hexes down here are lake hexes. Those are impassable. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Springtime was talking about World War Z. Okay, cool. Uh, blow up the zombies with mines and then make them more manageable. MLRSs and tank fire. <laughs> so you're basically refighting the Battle of Yonkers, is what you're talking about in Springtime. I think I know what battle you're talking about. That's when they tried to drop J dams on zombie hordes. Uh, it got a little crazy, needless to say. Um, <laughs> Max Books is crazy, man. That guy's insane. Um, cool. Mark 84. So those are the 2,000 pounders, man. Good grief. Take it easy on those poor zombies, man. Okay? They're just hungry. Stop it. You're bombing starving people. I, I, I hope you know that. Starving homeless people you're, you're bombing with Mark 84s, tank fire, and friggin' MLRSs. I hope you feel good about yourself. Bombing, bo bombing starving homeless people. That, that's messed up. They're just zombies, man. It's not their yeah, fault right. that what they want to <laughs> eat is you. <laughs> Have I got... I'm sorry? Have I got... I just got to I apologize, your 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 audio was breaking up. Something about your mortar? Um, is there a, any guard and anti-tank weapons? There was in a this javelin. Southern unit. Yeah, you have javelins. You've been pretty cautious with them. They haven't really seen the Chinese yet, but yeah, they're still loaded in their JTLVs back here in 2517. Yeah. Um, can they get to 31.15 and unload? 31.15. Yes. Easily. Because again, very high speed vehicles in this game. One, two, three, four. What the hell is that town hex doing there? Well, I put it there. Unassociated buildings. Um, they were building. Oh, you know what that is? That's that's a construction site. There, I declared it. They're building a little farm that overlooks that hill, but then they forgot to build the road. They're still building the road. That's not a map error, not at all. I totally meant to put that there. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a Taiwanese that's construction good. site. Um, there you go. And then. The, what's in the town at the moment? There's the, there's the HQ and what else is in the there? The town right above them is a command vehicle and your mortar section. Ah, uh, the mortar can't move because he's got a fire order. Yep, he's, he's loading HQ at the moment. Uh-huh, yep. The command section will go north to the other objective hex. Then the other loaded AT... Uh, Transport will come in and join the mortar and debuff there. Got it. Oh, he's currently unloaded, so he can load and then move down there. No, sorry, not that one. Oh, the, sorry. The units on the uh, the units to the west. Got it. The guys in the wood. That is able. To, yeah, you can totally do that. Um. U.S. Army is doing what it does best, running away. That was just for uh, that was just for Bill and Marty. Bill, Marty, and Chris. There you go. Tactical withdrawal. Yep. Drawing you in. Yep. Can't shoot me because I'm not here. This is true. Um. The. Sam, 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 Sam. The Sam will hold place. He's yeah, going to be I'm, last man. He's he, going to be last man. He may wind up having to shoot at somebody. Mm -hmm. Yep. The um, other infantry unit will load and then In run fact, to the east. What am I talking about? Is that Sam? That 
Sam took opportunity fire on turn three. So on turn four, he can't move. <laughs> Never mind. Right? Because I brought my flankers in on turn three. So my turn three, he fired. Then your turn three came along. He didn't fire or move. Okay, you're, 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 I'm sorry, I apologize. Your, um, uh, uh, stingers can either fire again. Because it's your, it's your fire phase. What the hell? I never, I never fired my damn, uh, I never, I never fired my, my flankers again. Okay, no. that's, I, yeah, okay, okay. I, I just straight up missed that. Okay, now it makes sense. Um, I just goofed up last turn. But better a player goof than a rules goof. Okay, so, yeah, your stingers can either fire now, or they can move. They're gonna hold position. Um, can they take another shot at the, uh, flanker yeah, that's... Yeah, because, because I forgot to fire my flanker last turn. That flanker, that, that, that J-16 is literally <laughs> flying in circles. Going, what do I do? I guess I'm supposed to shoot my guns at somebody. Oh wait, there's another stinger coming at me, because I'm a retard. Uh, two to one. Fifty on twenty-five. Get in. Oh no! Number one. Boom! Launch that one. sucker! Yeah! Got a stinger up the tailpipe. And that is the end. We have a crash unit there. Uh, where was he? He was in... This one. Let's see where he lands. One to there. six. Just for fun. He goes into a spiral and crashes in. Number six. Yeah, pretty much right where I had him. Boom. Damn it, Damon. That wasn't very nice. Nope. I'm like that. I've noticed. <laughs> tell you what, you've had, I'm a, not really, you've had a really I'm good turn nice. four. You've had a really good mm. turn four. I've been, I've been kind of kicking ass up until turn three. But turn four... The tide has turned! So, uh, the Sam's are staying put, everybody else that can is mounting up and heading due east. Okay. So, Cloud Leopard can't carry anybody. Mm -hmm. One. How far east are they going? He's going to. Uh, in there. We've got three in there. We've got one, two, three. So we need to have some space for three in there, so they can go there as three. Um, I'll ignore him for now. The other unit in there he is an empty JTLV. He's the guy that was going to carry the stingers. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's going to sit with the stingers. Gotcha. Yeah. Right, this um, rifle section heck. mounts up yep. in the striker, I believe. Yep. So the right kind yep. of striker. Because there's like 82 different kinds, yes. Mm -hmm. So if it's got that little C, that means that it's a carrying unit, it's a transport unit. Uh, and then he's heading into 3218. This striker is empty. He'll go to the same hex then. Um, and, and this Cloud Leopard is going to go into... The he'll go in with the um with the uh He's a command vehicle. So he's command. So well, he yep, he's going to he'll go to thirty two twelve thirty two thirteen. Or he'll go due east and then north. He's out of sight behind the hill. Uh That infantry that ran away into the woods, can they move again? Yep, because they were there last turn, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so what's what's north of them? Is there anything we north have of the that? striker and the infantry that the inf the, the infantry he was carrying, and yep, then they'll an load empty, up. Uh, cloud leopard, Taiwan. Yep. The striker will reload. Got it. He's got nine movement points and, left. Uh, yep. Uh, is it two moving through woods? Yep. So there's two. He'll move to 19 and 11. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.
Bob Leopard? Anything special with him? I think the entire time when he's army is down to two counters at this point. Well, I've left it all. Yeah, right. he's just gonna follow them. I, I, you're waking up again. Oh, mm -hmm. where, where are they going? Yeah. They're gonna follow the Americans. Gotcha. They just lost and confused. Well, like we said at the beginning, they have lost all their CIC. Those Chinese cruise missiles uh, took care of that. Okay. Um, unless there's any split moving fire up here to wrap up the turn. What have we got left at least? Yeah, the Japanese. Oh no, because you've still, still got a tank there. What's he done? If I move adjacent to him, he can just opportunity fire. I can't, I can't move into that hex anyway because it's fully loaded with rep counters. You can, you can always get one platoon into a hex. Uh huh. Even if it has 20 rep counters on it. Mm -hmm. But the maximum is three, unless the three are red counters, then you can always squeeze in one more. Yep. Um... Which does happen. You'll have three, you'll have, like, say that was, it's not an objective hex, but let's say it was. Three red counters in there, but you have to occupy the objective hex. You shove another unit in there, it gets taken out. Now there's four red counters. Again, you can always squeeze one hex, one live unit into a hex. So I've seen games yep. with, like, eight or nine red counters in them. In a single hex. And if they're from the two different sides, that has. Oh, yeah. That's one of those hexes. <laughs> That's like Chinese farm when the uh, the wrecked T 55 and the wrecked Patton, their, their muzzles were practically touching. Almost like the, mm -hmm. the tank gunners were having a sword fight with their tank rattles. With their tank barrels. The. Come to Tove. Cool. Does that count as, as a turreted AFV? Yep. Oh, actually, no. Missile units don't. No, so okay. far, you have to stay still when you're firing a missile. Yep. Sorry. Uh huh. We've got, we've got, left. We've got one, two, one tank. So the only time that's kind of confusing is like with yeah. a warrior, a missile armed warrior, or a Bradley that mm -hmm. has both guns and missiles. Whether or not yep. it gets the turreted AFV rule depends on what weapon it fired. Basically, when you yep. fire a missile, you got to be sitting still. Yep. Cool. Um, can I zoom into the northern town a little bit, please, yep. Jim? Just see what we've got left there. Oh, it's a mess in here, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so... We still need... Around here. Uh, the Pred can spot him, and then we can just do the shootiness. Um, the tank on its own hasn't done anything, so if I move in sight, he can opportunity fire, can't he? Uh, yeah, because opportunity fire is borrowed against my next phase. So if you, if anyone moves within the gun sight of this operational ZTZ-99, yeah, he's going to mm -hmm. take a poke at somebody. Yep. Um, that's not there, that's not there, that's not there. Um, okay, so they can't fire, they fired. The unit in 2107 will mount up. 2107 will mount up, got Inside it. the Japanese flag here. The Japanese infantry just north of them will mount up. So there's some Taiwanese units up here still too. Okay. Mhm. Mm yep. The 234th um, has four platoons left. <laughs> the oh, really one platoon and three sections of vehicle. So yeah, the whole brigade is down to like 40 men. The two Japanese infantry carriers. They can move nine now. Yeah, uh, eight. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They will move. So, can I just see a bit further southwest? Um, what have we got down there? We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six.
They will move down into the woods just south of the Apache. Come on, counter. Give me a break. Well, yeah. Way too fast for opportunity fire. <laughs> um, I think that'll do for now. The rest of the unit's going to be mop up that town. Mop me up, will you? Oh, we're already that confident. Okay, okay, I see how it goes. <laughs> okay, um, over to turn five. Calling in new artillery. Got it. We're now going to go ahead and uh, conduct our old artillery, which lands on, you guessed it, and I mean that literally, you totally did guess it, uh, 2217. Was to nuke that first, uh, that first town hex to sort of clear the way uh -huh. for some, uh, for some further advances. So, all right, that happened. Um, go to my direct fire phase. First of all, we gotta rally that damn tank. He bailed. He, he, he failed the rods because all the crews have already bailed out of the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> They're like that. I see what's coming, and it ain't pretty. I'm out, bitches. Um, this is not a renegade flagging force. This is a shipment back to the Gravedigger's registration unit. No fire, no fire, no fire, down here. Let us try to spot, mix spot. He fails to spot with a five. I have another drone. Come on, somebody make it! Three, okay, he makes it. Little threat sensors. Just let you know that you've been painted by a targeting laser. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Technically, that is the javelin, you know. Mm, yep. All right. I figured. Whoa! Time to R R L S. There, now it's legal. Okay. Um. Double rate on roads.
that's Sam. He's gonna take a poke at an Apache. Two to one odds. Ooh. Forty versus ooh, actually no. Forty versus twenty-two. One to one odds. Oh no. <coughs> Get lucky. Four dispersed. already failed his rally. So that does mean he just spotted me. On fool. That's it for Chinese turn five. Because um, I pulled back, so no cat attack there. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Hopefully, I got those stingers cut off. You annoying little bastards. Springtime has no more comments for me about his senseless slaughter of helpless zombies. But why, Springtime? Why? Those zombies have rights. <laughs> Okay, um, cool, let's go ahead and uh, get started on your turn five. And then if you want, we can go ahead and close out the stream. We've been up for coming up on three hours here. I don't mind. All right. Um, we can either finish this game at a later week or, um, yeah, I don't want the stream to go on for more than three hours. Three hours is, you know, we're, we're trying to cut this down a little bit. Okay. I do understand that uh, we want to keep playing this game. I actually like where, where this game is. It's it's pretty close. Mm. Um, mm. Right now I've got two. I never did take that crossroads in the north. Um, so technically you're still winning with three. I'm pretty sure you're going to threaten at least one more. But I'm going to threaten one more as well. I'm pretty sure you're going to have this game won. Mm. Mm. If we go to the full team, you know, depends how quickly I can finish clearing out the northern town and unleash the Abrams. Yeah. Um, I've already started, as you, I'm sure you've noticed, to laterally redeploy back mm -hmm. up toward the crossroads. So I'm going to yep. make a little bit of a stand there. But I don't have too much to make a stand with. I wish that that second tank platoon up to the north had rallied. If that mm. tank had rallied, if that platoon had rallied, I would have been able to mount at least a decent defense, or at least a delay. Um, between that and artillery and everything else. I've got some heavy weapons infantry heading up there. Um, yep. Yeah, but I, I barely missed knocking out at least one Abrams. There, there's only two real Abrams platoons on the entire map, and I almost mm. killed half of them. I came within one digit on one dice, but I missed mm. it, and that was pretty critical, and then I failed to uh, I failed to back out of there when I could have, and yeah, I, I kind of mismanaged my tanks, to be honest. How about if you play the air war game next week, and then the week after we see if that affects this game? Okay. Yeah. So um, so any, any air effect. At the moment, I have an email from a player that says he wants to try Air War C21 next week. Uh, Chinese versus U.S. Air Force. Um, 
But let's definitely go ahead and, because the Americans move second, let's finish up your turn here. And then mm -hmm. we'll have a complete turn five, and that'll be literally half the game. Cut and dry. Cool. Alright. So, call in new artillery if you want to. Um... You want me to zoom in a little bit? Um... The mortars have got to land. Where are they? Where did I? Oh no! Springtime's having oh, yeah. some tech issues. They were going after the mortar. Yeah, they were going after the mortar, weren't your mortar, weren't they? That's displaced, was it? My mortar has not displaced. All right, because that's where my artillery is landing. Oh. Did I plot, I plot that this turn? No. Turn, yeah, you remember. plot... Okay, so, hold on. Yeah. What you do in the turn sequence is you call in your mm -hmm. next mission first, and then yeah. you resolve your last mission. Yeah. So, have yeah. you called in your mission for turn six? Um, not yet, no. Okay. That's well, what I need to do. Yeah, okay. we gotta do that first. Because yeah. at the moment, uh, you don't know if your current mission was effective or not. Yep. Um, let's see. Um... Uh, can I see it? Yes, I can. The drone can see it. At least one of the drones can. Yeah, the drones have got range, yeah. Okay, I know where my second mission is coming in, my next fire mission. Okay, now we resolve the mission you called in on turn 4 to splash on turn 5, which is where? 11-14? Yeah, where the, um, your mortar carrier is. Alright, so from. you got 8 points. Divides in half against an armor target becomes four points against seven. One to two odds. Add two. To, oh, sorry. Add one to the die roll for my woods. Three becomes a four. On one to two odds, that is a miss. Yep. Yay! Although barely. Cool. So now we go with your direct fire stuff. So let's start in the north where things are positive. Oh, I can't get believe that. that guy did not friggin' rally. You just want to blow up some oh. empty tanks? <laughs> yep. <laughs> At least I hope they're empty. If those guys are smart, they've bailed out of the tank. Oh, God. Okay, so let's let's do this platoon by platoon. Yep. One one platoon will fire. Well, only there's only one direct attack allowed on a unit per turn, so let's see if one platoon would do it. So 102 divided by 28. No, divided by 33. That's only three to one. No subtractions from the die roll. I would probably put a second platoon into it. Just to be sure. Because uh, right yeah, now... Yeah, because I'm moving fire, can't I? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, he yeah. could survive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It's I not very dead. likely, but... Okay, so... Um, and plus, you have nothing else to shoot at it right anyway. You can't see him. You can't see him. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, he smoked. That's what you get for not rallying. Can't believe he didn't rally. Damn it. Okay. Um, and that was just two tank platoons. Okay, so nobody else here has... Can't see anything. Can't... Northern attack, you can see that infantry. Although they're not... The, the, the drone will try and spot that in, withdrawing infantry. Okay, but no one's got line of sight on him anyway. Even if he gets the spotted. Apache has. Oh, Northern Apache. One Apache does, yes. Okay, um, go ahead and roll one through four. Five. Failed anyway. Yep. Uh, you have another drone, unless that drone is spotting something else. Uh, the drone yeah, is drone... also way down here, so you'd have to move him. Mm -hmm. Yep. That drone is going to spot. Yeah, he's spotting for the artillery, so no. Okay, cool. So that's at least until at least the movement phase starts. Wrapped up in the north. Yeah, yeah we're just, we're just, we're just doing here. direct fire at the moment. I think that's it for direct fire. Unless yeah, the Sam wants over. to take a poke at somebody again. Um, no, I think it's time for him. He's done his duty. It's time to uh, get him out. <laughs> now that he's cut off. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, so now we're gonna go to movement phase. All right, up here again. Um, let's start moving. Um. Can't see me, can't see me, can't see me. The two Japanese um, weapons carriers, the tank and the weapons carrier, yep. will move to 1906, 1807, 1707. Uh, if I'm moving to 1607, you can see me and shoot at me, can't you? Uh, nope, because you will. I, I can shoot at you in my fire phase, not an opportunity fire. Mm -hmm. But uh, how effective will that fire be if there's one? 48 against 34. You double, yes? Oh, yeah. 96 within two, I double. 96 to 34. Three to one. No. Two to one. Two to one. A sloppy two to one. Uh, in the open there, can anything else poke at him while he's in the open? No. Um, is it worth a biscuit for a biscuit? Yep, it'll go to 1607 into the woods. Both of them? The, yeah. The Humvee will move back up with the heavy weapons team. They can't load up yet, can they? They can load up, but then that will be their turn. Because the infantry uh, unit has not moved. So the infantry unit can spend its yeah. movement points loading into the vehicle, and then that will be it for us. Okay, yep. Okay. Um... Uh, they won't load up for now. Any movement from the uh, tanks? Yep. All right. What are they doing? What? You're tanking the woods. How? What range does he fire double to? Um, it doubles to uh, half its movement. So, uh, no, sorry, uh, half of its. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually a good question. Half. We're all firing 2020 in ammunition. Everyone's tanks versus A class weapons only double out to half their move, uh, half their range. So, eight hexes, it doubles. Yours right, double you've, to got table. The whole, you've, got the, you've got the table covered. If I go north. Well, not covered very north. well, but yeah, technically mm -hmm. covered. Mm -hmm. Will it cost me an Abrams to go across that open ground? One shot, 48 against 36, or... Hmm. But if you fire, then you can't... That's, that's your opportunity. If you opportunity fire, that takes you fire out of your fire phase to shoot at the Japs. Correct. So... Okay. The Abrams are the two Abrams platoons, but one Abrams platoon is going to move to the woods in 12.06. Okay. Any shooting? Nope. <laughs> Silence from my tree line. Second platoon will do the same. Still not taking the bait. Silence from the tree line. <laughs> I 
Okay. That'll do for that. Okay. The... <laughs> Two Japanese infantry carriers will yep. head due west into the woods. Uh, straight across the field? Yep. Two, three, four, five. And the Americans will join them in the wood just to the south of them. The, and the, um, the, the, the last uh, group yep, of uh, that survivors. One. Yep. One, two, three, four, Saw that. Mm -hmm. However, not until you reach the woods. And the fence of six would be two to one in woods. Never mind. Um. Oh, super fast! Before we get into, uh, before we finish up our movement, technically part of your fire phase. Try to rally that Apache. Oh yeah. Three. Yep. The northern Apache will come down to 0805. And the southern Apache can't move, can he? Um, he can move half. So. Uh. Yeah. 25. It's still, it's still, he saw his pretty good movement. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But he does get split movement fire, basically. Yep. Um... He'll move down to 1510. Just behind those two infantry units. And the Japanese unit in that little wood next to the flag. Yep. They mount, they're dismounted, aren't they? Nope, right now they are, oh yeah, right now they're dismounted, you're right. But yeah, so they'll mount up. Okay. And they will go 2009 and then 1909. 2009, 1909 you said? Yeah. Right. They're out of sight from that tank now, aren't they? Um, yes, once you stop moving, I can no longer take opportunity fire, because uh -huh. you're now in cover, unless my drones see you. Yeah. You've got other targets to shoot at that have bigger guns that are a lot closer. The missile carrier will stay there for now. I think that's everything in the north, movie-wise. The south of the map looks pretty blue. There's, oh, there's a little guy. There's a few survivors. <laughs> I'm about ready to push Damon and clean off the map down here in the south. Mm. No, we've, we, we've chosen where we're going to stand. Uh, cool. So, no movement? Um, or it's up to you. Sam team. Oh yeah. Will mount up. Half movement. I should have covered that better. Damn it. Oh. If I had left one platoon down here for you to do that, mm. or even here, you're smoked. You just spent half your movement in my line of sight. Oh, I I can shoot. I can I do. Opportunity fire. All right, uh, as he mounts, that's half the vehicle's movement. You just spent half my move. Oh, there's a town hex here. Damn it. No, you get away with it after all. Son of a bitch. 2237 is, or 2217 is saving you. Otherwise, that Japanese, that, that uh, Chinese Marine uh, company would just light up that JTLV and just shred that little son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. 
Stupid buildings. Who drew this map? <laughs> um, go there, they go there. Nobody can see them. So they'll mount up and they'll move to 2416 underneath the American flag there. Like so? Yeah. I don't think anything can see them, can they? At the moment. Apart from the drones. No. I think that's everything then. Cool. Alright, I think Move that closes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everything. Okay. Let's zoom out the map. Alrighty, guys. Um, again, I don't want the stream to keep going like way too long, so we're going to go ahead and call it for now. Um, we're not, we're not going to call the game, we're just going to call the stream. So I'll save the file. And we'll see what's what. Um, at a future date, if you want to come back to this. If not, we could finish it up offline. We could finish it up on a Saturday if you want, Damon. It's totally up to you. Um, whenever it's convenient for you, if you want to finish it up. But, uh, yeah, this game is going to play out. Mm. Pretty interestingly. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I think, I, I'd say this, I say you win this game two out of three right now. Given what's left, and given how I kind of threw away my tanks, and uh, kind of didn't really use my flankers correctly. Okay, so guys, that's going to be it for now. Thanks again one more time. We'll see what happens when we uh, finish up this game uh, going forward. Thanks very much, everybody, for all your support. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Stay safe out there, and we'll be in touch very soon. Take care, everybody.